the criteria that we looked at for mitigation of declining world oil production uh, fell into two classes. One is uh, conservation or higher efficiency energy savings. And the other is producing uh, more liquid fuels by the various techniques that are there ready to go. Uh, saving energy, using less energy is indeed very important, not only in the near term, in the long term. We dug into that very deeply and we were disturbed to find out that realistically you cannot save your way out of this problem. And in fact, conservation, uh, higher energy efficiency, call it what you may, uh, in fact is very difficult to, um, to implement and takes a very long time and of course is going to be very costly. There is no bird's nest on the ground uh, with respect to energy efficiency and conservation, but it is something that is very important and is going to continue to be important. Then we looked at what, what are the ways to get liquid fuels. Um, of course, we can do some more drilling in places where there still might be some oil. One of the bigger things that's possible is enhanced oil recovery, which means doing various things to squeeze some more oil out of reservoirs that are past their peak and into decline. And that's something that we can do. The reservoirs, the oil fields are there, the technologies are there. That's something that is one of the first things that we can do. As we discussed, uh, coal is a huge resource in the United States and Canada and elsewhere in the world. And uh, one can make very good, very clean liquid fuels out of coal. It's an established technology, it's something that we can go to, and it's one of the best opportunities that we have. We can make clean liquid fuels out of natural gas, that's being done on a commercial scale uh, in places where there's a huge amount of natural gas. That is another option, again, making liquid fuels to go into the equipment that exists out there now and is going to continue to exist uh, out there. Canada has this wonderful resource called oil sands, heavy oil. Venezuela does uh, also. The United States has heavy oil, uh, but not to the degree that those other two countries uh, uh, do. And getting clean liquids out of those fuels, again, is a option that is commercial and can be expanded considerably from, uh, from where we are uh, today. Uh, and so that's kind of a rundown of what's what. The United States and other countries have oil shale, which is rock with kerogen and oil-like uh, material in it. Uh, and the resources of that are huge, but it's not the te technologies to do that are not commercial. They can be commercial relatively quickly, and I hope that they do, uh, because, again, we're going to need the liquid fuels. Unfortunately, uh, biomass, corn to make ethanol and, and uh uh, biomass, growing uh, plants and things to make liquid fuels is a nice idea but turns out to be a loser economically and from an environmental standpoint, particularly corn ethanol. So there's a number of things that are out there that people hope will work but in fact have been proven to uh, just not have it. Maybe and hopefully there'll be ways to improve on what's there in the future.